recording. Energy in the house. Yeah, Give it to me. Turn it back on. We're recording now. Yeah, sorry. Who's going? Refresh the street. Oh, some bro. I think we're on. Hi, guys. There it is. We're now switching from the duo show to way too top. Let's go, Peter. Hi. I'm Joe. Oh, no. I'm out. Boy and Jay. Uh, we're going to switch to the Owen Jay show now because <laughs> everybody else is kind of busy. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, get off me. So, like, you know sometimes when you're drinking a beer and you run out and you need more beers, you can go, like, get a bottle and get a mouse when it's really young and then shove it in there and then take it to the manufacturer and say, hey, I got a bottle with the mouse in it. And then they'll give you three beers. I heard that somewhere. Eh? Hey, that's right. Yeah. No, I can't get away with three liquor. Oh. Did you they'll say it's perfect? You tried that, haven't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to talk about whiteboard and yeah. crack. As in, so. Let's get some seeds going on. Let me pay attention to the food. I mean, I some questions uh, on. We're still real close together. This is kind of awkward. Yeah. close. So everyone, everyone's got the stream, let's go ahead and get started. This is a, we want to start from there, go ahead and watch yourself. What's up everybody in the world wide web? We are Wake Utah members. We are the owners, we are the creators of Awesome. Uh, we'll tell you more about Wake Utah later, but my name is Dewey. I live in Salt Lake. We all live in Utah and Salt Lake. I am kind of the rail guy. So uh, once we start talking about rails and getting questions about rails, go ahead and turn them over to me. I'm trying to be the local guru and creating a lot of rail awesome. Next on the list right here. All right. You, you, those of you watching the Joe show, I'm uh, Joe. OMJ. I'm just here. I'm James. Um, I'm the token love guy. So when something's wrong with our website, we uh, I'm the one who has to fix it. Um, I'm also one of the local judges here. So any questions about kind of the competition scene and the events that we grow? Uh, should we meet? What? Brando. Do the website too. Hope James up. Hope Bill Durrell. Uh, uh, we're going to ask any questions you have about wakeboard and if you want to come out wakeboard with us or whatever, get hooked up, let us know and see what we can do. Particularly uh, if you got questions about the scene, the Utah scene. So, really cool. I think it's in the nation right now. They're blowing up Utah wakeboarding online and stuff. And, uh, um. So if you check out our site, there's a Utah Wakeboard is the number one search term. Or Utah, Salt Lake City is the number one place that searches for the term Wakeboard and Wakeboard even. Um, in the whole entire, the whole world. entire world. So that's a, that's a really cool statistic for us. That just kind of shows how popular the Utah scene is and how popular Wakeboard is in Utah. So yeah. many of you might not know how, how much awesome we have out here in Utah because we don't have a lot of pro riders, and maybe we don't have a cable park yet, or maybe we don't have any of that, but it's a huge scene out, out there, and what we're trying to do is kind of get everybody together, you know, I mean, there's, there's a lot of guys out here that ride, but not a lot of those ride together yet, so one of our biggest goals is to start getting Utah on the map and getting recognized and getting more people to ride together. A lot of people had, you know, their clicks and stuff back in the day, but we're kind of breaking that. We're getting more people to ride. We're bringing people up from, you know, Vegas and Idaho and Colorado and all them guys are coming to ride here now because it's just how awesome it is. All right, so uh, I want to get to some of the questions. Uh, do we kind of touch on it? So what's this scene like? Um, uh, the scene is actually pretty awesome out here. I mean, you wouldn't think that a, a, a wakeboard scene that would have happened to covered in snow wouldn't be big, but 
I think that's right. The reason why the scene is so big is because you have so many people who snowboard. Uh, we want like an off-season sport, uh, so the scene is actually really big. Within Salt Lake, there's over 10 lakes just within an hour to go ride. Um, so that's that's really awesome. Uh, a lot of lakes and reservoirs. We're starting to get a couple of private lakes. Uh, but everyone's really stoked on the scene. Like I said, you've got a lot of the, the rail riders from snowboarding are converting over, so that's why we do a lot of rail stuff. Um, anything else you guys want to talk about on the scene? You could, uh, <clears throat> basically, you could board year-round, one way or another. You get behind a wakeboard, you get behind a boat, you wakeboard, you get out on a mountain, you're snowboarding. In some cases, you can do the same, do it all in one day. Snowboard and wakeboard, same day. Kill the day. We've got a lot of rivers and shit, too, so people will be like, Old people are four wheelers, hitting rails and stuff, and private rivers, winches, reservoirs, winches. And during the winter, if you really want to ride, you can head down to St. George, it's four hours away. And I know people who have ridden all year long at St. George. St. George is a two hour trip from Vegas, so you hit St. George, you ride for a couple of days, you hit Vegas, and you come back. We got our buddy Colby Shelton down there, rocking out St. George style, company way. So, who's your main, who are your main riders out there? So the main the main riders on the scene um, from Utah specifically the riders are um, Colby Shelton uh, rides for Liquid Force. You got the the Bagleys, uh, Dave Bagley, the older older guy came back and slated this season. Uh, rides for Liquid Force. You have um, Scott Bagley who runs one of the local schools. Ryan Webster rides for Hyperlite and Marine Products. Webster, one of my bros. What's up, bro? Um, who else am I missing? We have a lot of Idaho guys that come down and ride with us. Yeah. James Kleinstitz mm -hmm. right here kills it. He's on the newspaper. <laughs> I see him doing a rally. Uh oh. Um, who else? Who are the other big riders? A couple of guys that aren't around. Oh, Jason Coop rides from Marine Products. Uh, Jason Kimball's out there slaying it. Jason Kimball runs Good Times with Wake. Um, Bryce Brown rides for Rockwell. Uh, Nitro Energy Drink. He's always slaying it. So where are these guys ride? Where are the good spots to ride? Good spots to ride. Um, Ever been to Lake Powell? I would tell you, but I don't want you to go there. No, just kidding. Um, uh, cool thing we have with Utah Lake is a huge lake. It's super shallow, but that good thing about the shallow is it warms up quick. So early season, late season, a lot of people ride Utah Lake. Um, First to thaw. It, it's wanted. shallow. I mean, it sucks for the wake. You don't you don't get big wakes out there. Push up deep enough. Yeah, we took our Super out for a test right last night and without any balance, that was blown away. Um, but Utah Lakes are early in late season Utah Lake. Uh, Park City actually has a bunch of awesome lakes. Deer Creek Reservoir, so Reservoirs. There's uh, Jordanelle. Uh, my personal favorite, Rockport, don't tell anyone, but... Um, and then... Rockport, Echo, <laughs> East Canyon, uh, the Van, Gunnison Van down there in Delta. I mean, you... We could go on St. George's like got Sand Hollow, um, Quail Creek. Creek. They're just like a private. Yeah. They're just starting a private lake called um, the Second Ch Last Chance Lakes. That's a little closer to Salt Lake. Uh, there's a bunch of smaller lakes that a lot of people know about, um, <laughs> but so many. Screenshot. So many lakes. <laughs> Bam! That was my fiance. She just took a picture. Wow! What's the next question? Put her on video. <laughs> What is Wake Utah? Talk louder, guys. We need to talk louder. Well, what is Wake Utah? Uh... So the easiest way to describe Wake Utah is it's a uh, Wake World for the Utah scene. Simply put, we we go to all the events, uh, we take pictures, we film the events, uh, we write stories about the events, we tell people about the events coming on. Um, just recently, we started throwing rail competitions. That's where Dewey comes in and charge and Joe, the winch master. So we've uh, we've thrown rail jams in our local. Water Park, uh, Ricona Rail Jam, Rail Jam out at the uh, Outdoor Expo. So basically, it's just the ultimate resource for the Utah Wakeboarder. We have the MySpace local Utah Wakeboarder clone site, so everyone can create their profiles and show off. We're just, like I said, the easiest way to put it is Wake World for Utah. Not only are we are we all about the info, but like James says, I mean, we put on a lot of events. Marine Products hooked us up with a ridiculous Supra. The launch SS 22V, other way around, been that, you know what it means. But uh, so I mean, we're putting on events, and you know, and we're working on, we're working with ShadowBoxLive.com. They're gonna hook us up with their product. So we'll be, we'll be doing a little bit of competition with that. I'm working on a lot of rail jams. I think I have uh, three or four rail jams on the schedule for this year. 
First one's coming up uh, first weekend in June for the Outdoor Adventure Park Expo, which, you know, jump on the site and you can learn about all this kind of stuff. So not only are we info, but it's all about putting on events and, and ride days and, you know, and get people to ride. We'll have a couple learning days, you know, for the younger guys, maybe some older guys, some ladies. I mean, that's, that's what it's about is getting ladies. people to ride. We really wow. want to try to expose more people to the to the wakeboarding, um, so that more people are riding and more people are going to be more progressing ladies. out of Utah. And the more pros we get out of Utah, the better. The lady pros. I mean, back to kind of the the talk <laughs> about the scene. You have so many snowboarders who ride, and the cool thing Snow about buddies. snowboarding is, you know, you get your board, you get your pass, you can go ride. The hard thing with wakeboarding is, you know, you need that boat. You really need, you know, that that awesome Supra. So luckily, we've teamed up with Marine Products and Supra. To get a boat, so our goal is if anyone wants to try a wakeboard boat, wakeboards, they can come out to some of our events, ride behind a super awesome boat, you know, and just kind of start progressing themselves in the sport that way. We're working with a bunch of wakeboarding companies. We don't have a board. We're working on that. So come demo some of their products. So they're asking us if we own wake, if we start a wakeology. No, we did not. We no, do not, not own. Start, we do not own wakeology. We do not start wakeology. Wakeology is actually a local Utah wakeboarding company that um, came out of, you know, just the wakeboard scene, scene of need. Um, and they hit us up and said, hey, you know, we're local guys, can you help us out? And we're always, we're always down to help out local guys, so uh, we work with Wakeology. Um, and so that'll actually be one of the boards we'll have on our boat this year. So again, just getting gear for people to ride. I'm um, actually meeting with the, the guys on Friday to get their first prototype. Um, but yeah, we're stoked to, to work with Wakeology and uh, any other Utah company, uh, Company Wake, and there's a couple others that are coming out of the mix, uh, and nothing that we can talk about right now. But So we didn't start Wakeology, but we're definitely down to help them out. So they're asking us how we got started in Wakeboard and maybe how we started like our, our site, why we started it. Hmm. Well, kind of for me, it was, I mean, basically I dug a couple holes in my buddy's backyard and bought a winch and... Pat Panopoulos and Utah Boat Show kind of hooked us up with this rail and we threw it out in between these giant holes of the pool and uh, started sessioning, you know, and I didn't know, I didn't know these bros and they kind of came up to me and said, hey, you know, I, this guy's my bro, so you know, but kind of came up to me and said, hey, let's ride, you know, we're working on this Wake Utah stuff and it kind of already been out there a little bit, you know, Wake Utah has been around for, for a few years, but uh, it kind of changed hands a couple times and it kind of disappeared. It kind of died out for a little while. So, so James kind of took up the slack and, and asked me and Joe if we wanted to be involved. Right. And Brando, and he kind of hooked us all up. And we started riding together a little bit, started hanging out, talking business. Now here we are on Stoke Meter TV. <laughs> so yeah, check out Dewey'sRail.com to see all the, the pictures from the rail. Um, that, the farm was definitely what we used to call the code name. Yeah, the kind of farm. Yeah, yeah. We all came together on the farm. I have, it's all I, underground, you know what I'm saying? I've helped out with the, the Wake Utah website for a number of years now because that's kind of my profession is, is developing websites. So that's how I got into it. Um, I helped out with the IWA a bunch, and so that's how I got into the wakeboard scene. The IWA um, is kind of the local Intermountain Wakeboarding Association is what it's called. It's kind of the local competitive scene. Yeah, so that's where that, those are the exclusive wakeboard-only competitions, um, and those are kind of in the last two years those you know, kind of ignited the, the spark of wakeboarding scene again, you know, kind of calmed down for a couple of years there, and you now it's just, it's, it's exploding. So they want to know if we have any videos out, we probably talked about the video uh, you guys put out for X Games. X Dance. Yeah, X Dance. So um, we don't personally have any videos out. If you go to my.wakeutah.com, you can see all the videos from local riders that they put out, but we do work with X Dance. If you don't know what X Dance is, it's like Sundance, but for extreme sports only. Um, and we work with X Dance, and uh, hopefully, I don't know what this year, but last year we had a contest, and whoever won our video contest, which the community voted on, got an automatic bid to X Dance, and they have their video in X Dance. So uh, Nate Bali and uh, Jake, Larson. Jake Larson put a video together called uh, Been There, Done That. Uh, WakeUtah.com slash Been There, Done That. Check out the trailer. Um, and they were at Next Dance. It was a really awesome event. It's really fun. So we're going to do that again this year. Um, but So we don't personally have any videos. We like to sponsor videos, uh, help them get, uh, get produced. We're going to try to work with some big names in the industry to get local riders access to them to kind of help them tweak their videos. Uh, but yeah, wakeutah.com slash been there, done that. And you can see kind of the trailer for 
have been there, done that film, and they were in X Dance last year. And if you haven't checked that out, check out the X Dance website. Great time. Next year, uh, we'll be doing it again. So it's not limited to Utah. That contest it could be nationwide. And if you're a filmmaker, definitely want to stay in tune with that. Park City TV. Come on, we're all good. James was kind of talking about the community and what in My Lake, Utah, and basically what that is, as he was talking earlier, is kind of the MySpace version of everybody can create their profile. So if you go to my.wakeutah.com, and that's the forum, and that's where all our community and everybody who's a member can submit their videos, and that's what he's talking about by all the community voting on those videos, and that's who won. And if you check out those videos, there's a lot of good videos that... You know, my buddy Josh and, you know, and a couple of Wake Las Vegas guys put together for us and a lot of good stuff on, on some of my rail jams. And there's just a lot of good video in there. But like James said, none of them are necessarily ours. You know, a lot of other guys kind of helped us out and did those for us. Um, so the next question is Dewey. Well, yo! Um, I saw the sliders from Watson hit at the Utah Boat Show. Uh, did you guys put that that route? Uh, no, no, no. Well, basically, what happens is that's all. That's all Pat Panakos and crew. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't really have anything to do with, do with Pat. He's just, you know, he's kind of a buddy, and uh, I. He's probably talking about the Arizona folks show, my guess. And it's the same rail that was at the Utah boat show. Yeah, right? same rail. But yeah, Pat Panakos and A Box Productions and, and Wes Brown and uh, Chris Salteski and all those bros. Those are the kind of guys that made those. And Pat, you know, me and him kind of had a little running running thing together for the past couple of years and every once in a while it hooked me up with one of those old rails and so if you've seen one of my rails chances are that he's he built one of them you know so he's kind of he's helped me out a lot and, and helped me how to learn how to build these rails so big ups to Pat for sure but no I did not uh, build any of those there's not a better person to learn from than Pat though. oh Pat Joe why are you wearing that crack shirt I'll show you uh, crack. yeah this right here Zotes. We got to hook up a lot. We got a lot of sponsors, you know, that we, we try to thank all the time. And, and, and Zotes Sunflower Seeds is one of our sponsors, and they've, they've helped us out from the beginning, giving us product. And Zotes has probably been, a, been our biggest fan. So that's what crack game. means. It says crack, crack them. This, this is a little EM right there, crack them. So crack the seeds, yo. So if you haven't ever tested them, Zotes Sunflower Seeds, Zotes.com. Go buy Zotes off of their website. If you use the coupon Wake Zotes, give you 20% off. But the best flavored sunflower seeds you've ever tried. They're so, so good. They got all sorts of flavors. They got new flavors in the works all the time. I think they got like Jamaican jerk is coming out. Four new flavors Wasabi coming soy, out right now. Cinnamon sugar, butter popcorn, and they. I think they're almost about nationwide. So what's up to Jason Fry and all the Zotes guys? Thank for helping us out Jimmy. for sure all this time. Jimmy. So uh, we're working on demo Wakeology board. Any Wake Utah event on Friday, I pick up one of the first molded Wakeology boards. Um, Seriously, head to our site if you're local, uh, see where we're going to have events, meetups. We haven't really decided what we're going to call them this yet. Meetups, let's ride, come ride, but what great. C contact yeah. us, say, hey, I want to demo a Wake Algae board, and next time we go out, I'll call you, and you can come ride with us. The best thing to do is jump onto that forum we've been talking about a couple times, my.wakeutah.com, and there's a link on it on our main page, <laughs> wakeutah.com, on the bottom right of the page. Basically, what you got to do is just create it. Oh, okay, I guess it's on, on the top. On the top. It's on the top now because we change it all the time. That's how revolutionary we are, you see. I don't even know what's going on. It's so awesome. That's basically what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, check that out. And create a profile. And all you got to do is put your name on there, and, and you'll get an email from us, you know, maybe like a week or a couple days in advance before we do something awesome. We've got an events calendar on both of those pages. So, you know, everybody always knows what we're going to do. I'm pretty sure we're... We're booked up like straight up all year, so I mean we're, we're almost every weekend we're out there. So come find us, come ride with us, shoot us an email, you know, whatever. Come ride with us, let's do it. But seriously, contact me. Say I want to ride the Wakeology behind your new Supra. We're going. We'll go out any day. That's all you gotta say. It's simple. So they want us to show the that video that was on X Dance on Stoke Meter. We could work that out. We do it. Um, I don't have. I don't know if I can do it here. I'm gonna in the chat. I'm gonna type in the URL to the, the trailer. I'm gonna type the URL into the trailer. <laughs> Son of a crap! This computer's a piece of junk. So not it, this little one. No, right? this this is all this setup. Awesome, Stoke Meter. Woo! You know what I'm saying? Nice work, fellas. Stoke Meter. Why don't you guys go ahead and talk about our sponsors real quick while I, I pull this up? I hit that. So yeah, we talked a little bit about the Zotes, Sunflower Seeds. 
Uh, we got Wake Utah uh, Marine Products has given us some, the super this year. They they always hook us up pretty good. And Every time we have an event, Marine Products is there to back us. You know, with with product or you know coupon codes or I mean anything we can imagine, they'll hook us up. So all our Marine Products, big thanks, Marine Products. Marine-products.com if you want to check out their website. Uh, you see the uh, little Dilla Day Awake. That's something James is working on. It's for Marine Products too. It's something that James is working on, and so, you know, you get some pretty good deals there if you're looking for, it's, it's strictly wakeboarding stuff, uh, so, you know, you get some pretty sweet deals there. One product each day, it's absolutely ridiculous the prices you're going to get, so definitely check that out. you got to hit it every day, it's a new product every day, limited qualities, limited quantities, quality's awesome, <laughs> limited quantities, so check that out. We got the Rev3 Energy Drink, uh, this is something put out by USANA. Um, not your typical energy drink. If you've tasted all the energy drinks, you all know natural. what I mean. This is an all-natural energy drink. It's a dietary supplement is what it is. So yep. you get all the awesome without the bad, right? That's right. No crash, no, you know, it's just awesome. You know how when you pound energy drinks all day and you're like, you know how, you know, you know what I'm saying. When you're peeing and it hurts, right? Because it's burning, right? Not with this stuff. This is oh, all natural. Burns. You don't have all the crash. Oh, it's just awesome. So check out uh, drinkrev3.com. And then we got Rockwell. Dean, if you can see this this watch here. Get up in there. Yeah, yeah get, get in there. That's a Rockwell watch. Fitty uh, squared, fitty squared. Uh, you've seen this on uh, Rusty Malinowski and uh, Randall Harris. A couple other people, they're signing new people all the time. They're a big quality watch company. Just rockwelltime.com, you can check them out there. They're huge into the motocross scene, and they're getting huge in the wakeboard scene. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ah. We thought we were gone for a sec, bros. Thanks for sticking it out through the drama. Screensaver. And Rusty, you know, everybody knows Rusty. Rusty surfboards, remember back in the day, 85, right? Back when it was all neon. Oh, they're killing it again. Rusty went ahead and started making surfboards. and He kind of went away for a little while. He's been brewing in his basement. Now he's got a lot of apparel and, you know, he's still cracking out awesome surfboards and, and good clothing. So so what's up to Rusty? Thanks for uh, yeah, all the awesome clothing. Get your board shorts stuff. and stuff to ride in. Ridiculous board shorts. Six. Good call. Shirts, hats, sandals, what you need. Um, and then a new sponsor that we just recently picked up is um, Shadowbox. Shadowbox. Oh. If you've seen the wake, Wakeboard Magazine Reliance, you've seen the, these commercials they have, advertisements. A little box you put on your board, measures your distance, height, spin, everything. Seems like a GPS receiver. You, you're going to hit the wake and it's going to tell you how high you jump, if you spun, what angles you were at. You can put it in your computer. It'll chart out how you jump and stuff. So we'll be having that out at our, at our little meetups. Yeah, for the, you, Wakeology board could demo that. We'll be demoing the Shadowbox Live too. What's up, ShadowboxLive.com? We're gonna be doing some competitions where that's gonna tell you how high you got, you know, and the person who got the highest wins the competitions and stuff. It's gonna be sick. The surprises. That thing's gonna be a ridiculous training tool too. I mean, for guys like me that don't know how to spin, you know, it'll tell you yeah, exactly. why you can't spin. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. big thing. It's got gyros, accelerometers, and all sorts of ridiculous stuff in there. It's like a freaking feet of nature or something. Like the Nintendo Wii probably. Oh dude, it's like it's like a straight up what he said, it's like a Wii on your friggin' wakeboard. How ridiculous. Waterproof. Is that? Waterproof like ridiculous. A waterproof is. Wii. W W I I. Nice work, bro. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, okay. Shadowbox Live, all are at you. You can see the uh, links to all of our sponsors, a couple of our sponsors on on the page there right right here. Oh. Ah, that's it. That's yep. it. Good work. Super boats. Don't forget about the Supra. Is that that, hard? Uh, a 22 we got out there, the SSB. It's a nice boat. You'll be, uh, you get your chance to get out and demo that. Uh, another one that's not on there is Die Cut Guy. DieCutGuy.com. If you're looking for some sick die cuts for wakeboarding, check that out. DieCutGuy.com. More product coming soon. We got right. some. We have some questions. We need to work on that. Uh, we're we're looking for our video online. Yeah, we're, we're trying to hook you bros up with the video. But right. uh, let's, um, uh, let's hit some questions real quick from this. Results. So, uh, wakeboard your full time occupation? If not, what do you guys do outside of wakeboarding? Dude, that'd be straight living the dream. Yeah. Now, we, uh, we, all, we all do different things, you know, regular gigs, you know, to pay the bills, but uh, wakeboarding's kind of our passion. And, 
and we, we do as much as we can, probably a little more than we should, because oh, some of us aren't paying our bills, right? Just but, as, uh, crack. As, much, as much as we can, you know. But uh, no, we, uh, we're not that awesome yet, maybe one day. Um, do me as a pimp. Joe has insurance. I do websites. Brendo works for the Air Force, but we can't tell you that. I, uh, I got no ladies, though, so <laughs> it's like a pimp with no ladies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ow. Oh, yeah. Anyways, I want to know uh, what the rocker system on these plate boards is, you know, like the... What is the Wikology? Yeah. Do we have that info? They're still working. They're still getting that yeah, stuff figured out. I don't know that... Like James said, Friday's going to pick up the the board. Um, you can, uh, you can first, so. The first one's going to be continuous. The second one, um, they, you know, they haven't got... They haven't they finished, finished it yet. So, I know. That's the question. So, yeah. Uh, any any more yeah, questions? We'll, we'll, we'll catch you there. I'm trying to find the questions. Yeah, that was the last question. It was about the Wake College Board. I have nothing after that. Technical difficulties for a minute. It's oh, well. Oh, yeah. it's what riders do Wake College Boards have? That's U Street number 8250. They're a new company. Yeah. Uh, I think they're still looking. So if you're a rider out there and you want to get a board, get signed with a board company, you know, send in a video. Log on to Wake Utah. Post post your video up there. You know they're 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 a member of our Wake my Wake my dot Wake Utah dot com. So if you want to get noticed, that's one way to do it because they're going to be on there checking video all the time. Check awesome. check out Wake All these uh, Wake All these website as well. Go ahead and check out Wake All dot com. I believe. Should be a little bit more info on there than what we have at this moment. I know they're looking for riders. I know they haven't signed any um, one of those type of things. So. Definitely send your Tell videos them to them. Give them a holler. Shout them an email. Great pal, Lake Powell. Love that place. You guys red? Of course we ride Lake Powell. Lake Powell is ridiculous, dude. We're there. It's it is a Utah lake. Parts of it. Most so. of it. Most of it's a Utah lake. Um, Lake Powell, be, yeah, I mean, we ride there most, uh, any time, I don't think we've never done an event there. No. Um, it'd be ridiculous. Uh, we we kind of leave that up to Bro Stock. Um, Check out Bro Stock, we'll be down there this year with our Supra. We'll be all uh, tagged up, you won't miss us. Definitely one of the faves though, I mean, there's so many lakes around here, it's almost hard to pick one because depending on what day you're there, that's what day your awesome lake is, you know, I mean, I don't think that... I don't think I have any favorites. I probably have about 10 of them. Depends on where the tricks are landing that day. But Lake Powell is definitely one of the one of the most epic lakes around. Love it. Word. <laughs> oh, another question. <laughs> so I try to call Wake but the phone oh, okay. number doesn't work. <laughs> any idea how we can talk to them about the product? <laughs> I would hook up with, uh, oh, email me, james at wakeutah.com. Let me know what you're trying to contact them about. I will send it off to Wakeology. Um, yeah, so just you know, hit me up. They, Wakeology does have a profile on my.wakeutah.com, so create a profile. Hit them up that way. I do know they're active. Good hit a message there. Um, on that, so message them through uh, My Wake Utah. Uh, we got started. I don't know. Depends on what you're talking about. I mean, I think we all got started wakeboarding the same way. I mean, either, you know, either we've had a boat all our lives or... Or, you know, families had a boat or, you know, our neighbors had a boat. But uh, for me, uh, my family, my uncle and, and my grandpa kind of had a boat for a long time. I maybe wakeboard with them once or twice a year. But uh, I bought my boat a couple years back and just started from there. I decided to buy a winch, and uh, that's kind of how I got hooked up. And I think we talked about it a little before how we all kind of got hooked together. But uh, no, basically, go ahead. So... <clears throat> If you want to know exactly how Wake Utah got started, uh, we can't officially claim how Wake Utah got started. Wake Utah was started by a guy named Jason Lugo. Jason Lugo. Jason Lugo. Props, buddy. Jason Lugo started the scene, Wake Utah scene, four or five years ago. Was it not longer than that? It's been longer than that. Longer than that. Jason Lugo did a lot of good work. So any of you bros that know Jason, you know, he did a lot of good he, work. He definitely paved the, road, paved the road for us. Um, so then there's Jason Lugo. That changed hands a couple of times. I was involved in kind of the change of hands. Um, and then I kind of wanted to take it over, but I didn't want to take it over by myself. So I got all my bros. 
um, involved and say, hey, let's take this over, let's make this run. Um, so that's kind of how Wake Utah started. I think the best rider out of us, I'm pretty sure it's me, right? Nah, it's totally me, man. What are you talking yeah, about? Dude, are you kidding me? I got that new Toast 3, dude. It's Joe's ridiculous. better than you, man. He does nah. have that toe roll, though, for sure. Oh. James has got a pretty gnarly, gnarly rally when he lands it, you know what I'm saying? That's Star Game. James slays it. I think we're James all. James used to compete back did, in the day. Right, right, right. He was the bombest. No. I think I'll it's, give it to him. I, I, apparently, that's up for argument. As far as, as far as contests go, dude, we got competition. There's a ridiculous amount of competition out here. I mean, put me on a waist skate? Oh, it's yeah, over. You don't got no waist skate, dude. <laughs> give me a waist skate. <laughs> give me a waist skate. It's, he's ridiculous. It's true. But there's a lot of com- right? there's a lot of competition out here. I mean, there's there's the IWA, which is the Intermountain Wakeboard Association. They put on a huge contest every year. A lot of times they do, I think they do three a year. This year they might not quite do three, but they're working on a couple more. Uh, they usually have at least like 70 riders. Mm-hmm. We, we just hooked up with the INT League, which you know everybody knows the INT. They're national. We just got a new chapter in Utah, so we're gonna have a couple comp- competitions, kind of St. George Way, and I think they're looking to do one more. More Salt Lake way. We'll see how that goes. The IWA kind of spans up in the uh, Idaho, but right across the border is a place called Burley, uh, Lake of the Snake. One Every of the year. best venues you've ever seen for wakeboarding. Idaho Water Sports is big into that. Nice job, Idaho Water Sports. I don't know if you've ever been at a wakeboard competition where the riders literally cut out and high five with all their friends along the shore and then cut into their trick. And that's wake. Or wake the snake. Wake the snake. Sweet competition. A lot of rail jam stuff. I'm always talking about rail jams, but I think this year alone I already have three rail jam competitions, you know, started. So definitely uh, hit me up at Dewey at WakeUtah.com or give me a call or whatever and, and we'll get you on the riders list for sure. So between the IWA, the IMT, the wakeboard contest, um, we'll definitely have some winch contest. Um, and then we have, you know, kind of the film series contest. Uh, we're gonna do some cool contests with Shadow Box this year. Um, oh, wow. that, that just kind of Shadow Box is really our our imaginations flowing. Um, and then any other contests we come up with, you know, we'll throw. You guys have ideas? Hit us up. Let us know what contest you want us to do or ideas you do. Sure. We'll make that one. Pull those or winches, man. Nice work, Ryan Schubert. Thanks a lot for the pull dozers. Um, so, do you know the company Weight Guys? Everyone knows of the company Weight Guys. Um, so yeah, Justin Stevens, we, we talked to Justin Stevens uh, at the Utah Boat Show. Um, we're talking about doing kind of a Ride Local First campaign where we promote all of our local companies and uh, we're working with Justin Stevens to get him involved in that. Uh, we have a lot of guys, we have a lot of guys down at St. George that are, you know, working with company and turning and stuff, Colby Shelton. But yeah, like I said, everyone knows the company, Wakeboard Guys, and we're, we're always, you know, looking to help out a local person, like we said, so. Check back on stokemeter.com. Justin Stevens was just on on Thursday talking about all his goodness. So uh, check out the video from, from Stoke Meter. So we know Company Wake. Do we know their phone numbers? No. <laughs> but we know them, yeah. What's up, Company Wake? Justin Stevens, Colby Shelton in the house. All them other brothers, I forgot your name, but what's up? Randall Hannes. Tino Santori. I thought, are we Nicole talking about Riders? Riders, Greg and Carson, Quick Group. Yeah, Company Wake, we know them. I think they're two separate companies. They're definitely two separate companies. Wakeology and, the co- and Company Wake. Two words. Companies flex. Wakeology's not. That simple. I, you know we're going to bro stock, fools. Like, ridiculous bro stock action. We're in Utah. Bro stock's in Utah. There's no way we can't go. We're going to be down there with our uh, marine product, Supra. They're going to ride behind our Supra. Maybe. Yeah, or at least Force is using our Supra. Our Supra's going to be there. Maybe it'll it's be the photo boat, boat or something. Boat. But, It'll be there, and uh, you'll all see it for sure. We'll all be down there. Come holler at us. Come ride with us. Go to wakeutah.com. Check out the new pictures of the boat. I took those. It's sick. Overboardphotography.com. Man, we're a name dropper. (laughs) (laughs) I'm Joe. (laughs) Doesn't it make you feel good to know people? Except for the company weight guys. Maybe we should go meet them. Maybe we should drive to St. George. Yeah, I think we're going to St. George's weekend to meet Company Wake guys. So Justin, if you you're watching, decide, email me. I'll give you my phone number. You can call me. You got any more rep, Drew? Yeah. All are in. All are responding. Get covered. So, Ben, three. Top up. Any other questions? Uh, this is a Zotes T-shirt. Not like not selling. Okay. 
Well, we're about we're about halfway through the big show here, so we need uh, to get in the forums. Take a commercial break. We need to get in the forums right now. We need to interact. Oh, yeah, my computer's forums working. Did that? Not yet. How exactly would you like us to get in the forums? I think you need to get into our forum. Then we can chat all day. Wait, I got, I got you. Wait. We can kind of. Oh. Anyway, we're halfway through. You know what I'm saying? So, so we're wakeutah.com. We're uh, we're kind of the owners. We're we're creating an awesome. I'm Dewey, kind of the rail guy. Joe, he's kind of our photo media guy. James, he's the internet guru. And he's he's kind of the brains of the operation. Brando, he's the other guy. Brando's the other guy over there. He's in and out, grabbing grabbing zilts, sunflower seeds, and whatnot. So, uh, all our dollar sponsors again. We got Marine Products with their big Supra and uh, zilts, sunflower seeds, red free energy drink. Where are these guys? That was DFTR. Wake up, DFTR in the house. That's how. That's who that was. It's got to be good in the forums. Call her, Josh. What's up, my? What's up, Josh? Just so we know how to get to know you guys. Which forums do you mean? Like, make you tell forums? We do have our own forum in our in the my dot wake dot dot com. Stoke Meter has a, has a really good forum as well. Uh, yeah, that's what they mean. I'm I'm a member of the Stoke Meter forum. Yeah, Stoke Dewey. Meter forum. Just Dewey D E W E Y. So go ahead and search me up on there. I got a I got a couple pictures on there. I think of a couple of the rail jams I've done. Mm -hmm. Wake Utah T-shirt. Good question. Dewey, show them it. Here, let me jump up here. I don't know if y'all can. Is that good there? I don't know if you can see this. If you read this right here, Wake Utah, right? Greatest melted snow on earth? Ridiculous. Whoa. This is this is exclusively at Marine Products. So the only way you can get this shirt is exclusively at Marine Products. So jump on into Marine Products, snag one of these. If you can't make it to Marine Products, just email me. I'll make sure you get one. Fourteen ninety nine, right? Contact at, at wakeutah.com, James at wakeutah.com. He's kidding. This is a ridiculous shirt. This is the best shirt you've ever owned right here. It looks good on you. Fourteen ninety nine. It's a ridiculous price for an awesome shirt. Jump into Marine Products. It does look good, doesn't it? I think it does. This is designed by James right here. Is the Karch still here? Karch isn't here with us. <laughs> ah. yeah, I don't know. Dig the shirt. Thanks. Uh, that's probably my. That's probably Josh. What's up, Josh? David Horton in the house. What's up? Brando username is not in use on still media forums. So this Utah. dude and, jo and Josh down for the ride. Dave, they they've been out to Utah Lake a couple times this year. It's still like what, 40 degree water. I think it was like 50 last night. We all sessioned last night. Uh, it's uh, took the super out. If it, dude, if you guys are in Utah right now, you're in Salt Lake and you're not riding. What are you doing? Head to you know Marine saying? Products. Grab a dry suit or a wetsuit. Get out there. Get up Seriously. in this business. Marine Products. You can get pretty much anything. Well, you can get anything. You Straight need. up. You say you want to buy a winch, they'll get you a winch. That's what we did. We went into Marine Products South. Said, hey, we want to get a winch. They got. We got a hold of. Pulled over, got everything arranged. Next day, a couple months. She just had we build it for us. It's like three like, weeks. Other sports. What other sports do we play? Dude, it's Utah, so you know we're all snowboarding. You know what I'm saying? I mean, anything extreme, right? I kind of like to ski. That's too that here. Day? I don't know. Am I getting in trouble? Are you gonna make, <laughs> Are you gonna kick me out of Wake Utah because I like to ski? Uh, uh, so we all, of course, we do winter sports crossover. I play soccer a bunch. Um, <laughs> Brando, Brando hits up all the skate parks for us. Um, I don't do anything. I just wakeboard and snowboard. He builds rails and winches. I mean, he doesn't build winches, but winches and so. He goes out and cruises for winch spots. We went out a couple years back and hit a waterfall with the bulldozer. That was pretty sweet. So we call that a hobby. I'll tell you what my favorite rider section is right now. What you're going to do is you're going to go to our website, mywakeutah.com, into the forum, right? You're going to search one of my rails, Dewey's Rail. Wake Las Vegas did an awesome section uh, of, of our rails. Crazy Wake does a lot of good stuff. Josh did a lot of good stuff for me. So so Pro, pro Films, Justin Stevens has made a lot of really good films. I mean, I, I like some of the old school guys, you know, Murray and, you know, and Friggin' that guy can rip 360 no handle pass and stuff like that. That's just nice. Yep, AZ in the house. 
Crazy wake. Nice work on all the rail footage. Crazy wake. That's good stuff, man. Favorite film uh, section and writer is uh, Sean Watson, Butter Effect. Uh, is it Sean Taylor Wallace? Is that how you say his last name? Kilgus? Kilgus? Kilgus. Sean Kilgus. Sean Kilgus. Um, Sean Watson, Butter Effect. Just, there's something about the style of Sean Watson's writing in that section that I love. I'd have to go with Sean Watson, too, in uh, the movie, the, the show Snafu. A little, a little less known, but... Murray. Murray, yeah. Sean Murray, yeah. Murray, yeah, sorry. Talking about Murray and Snafu. That was a killer session that he pulled on that first Transgression first was a really good film. Yeah, Randall and Cole Process is a really good it. film. Randall Harris, that yeah, first that film he came first, out with. Oh, God. That was ridiculous. Transgression, you know, won a bunch of stuff that... Uh, did they win or get nominated for a bunch of stuff? They won. Things? They won a bunch of stuff. So yeah, if you guys haven't heard of X Dance and you're local, check it out next year for sure. It's it's a blast. If you're not local, you know you can anyone can enter a film, you can enter a short. Uh, you get in, it's it's worth coming and hanging out for the party. Nice job to Dave Patterson, one of our local bros. If you don't know who Dave Patterson is, uh, he he's been around now. Dave Patterson's kind of worked at uh, a couple of wakeboard sure. schools. He worked down in the projects and he helped out with Alliance Magazine for a while. He he kind of helped bring Transgression to Utah. He knows a lot of those bros. So what's up, Dave? The, the AZ show for a stoke meter on Monday? Does you guys need to watch the AZ show on Monday. Dude, if you guys are on, I'm there, man. We're always on stoke meter. Is there anything we should uh, keep our eyes peeled for? Uh, stoke meter, yeah. yeah. A lot of good stuff coming up on stoke meter. I mean, these guys are these guys are kicking out some awesome you know, pro riders. And Keith Lyman was in the house for a while. And, and Justin Stevens and all the, all the fiction guys. You know, what's up all the fiction guys for sure? Those guys are always talking about breaking records, and we're not going to be anywhere close, but what's up to those bros for sure? Nice work keeping down the fort, holding it down. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> Holler at all the fam, all the friends, man. Thanks for, y'all. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hey, for Bruce. sure. God, you got to be kidding me. If anybody's got a computer, you know what I'm saying? Ship it my way. Mine's a piece. I hate it. New phone. I need a new phone, too. I don't want an iPhone because everybody rocks an iPhone. I don't like to follow the crowd, but you weren't gonna say nothing about that. You want to, anybody wants to hook me up, right? Go ahead, send it. Do we at wakeutah.com? Give me a call, whatever. If you yeah. haven't tried them, garlic roast sunflower seeds are my favorite. Who one favorite sunflower seeds? Oh, zote seeds. Garlic Dude, roast. What's my favorite? I kind of like. They got a new one coming out. It's uh, it's like some cinnamon in it. Cinnamon sugar. Uh, cinnamon sugar. That's pretty good. Watch for that for sure. That's energy that's seeds. I mean, they got a lot of good nachos, stuff. Nachos. Nachos are. Dope show. Nacho, a, spicy nacho, that's a hard rubs. question. That's a real hard question. I don't know that you can have a favorite. Have a you know what I'm saying? Burn you up. Yeah, I like the uh, the garlic roasts. They're they're pretty good. You know, I go in phases where I'll do the uh, salt and pepper's probably my all time favorite. Yeah, they got regular stuff too. So for all you lame dudes out there, that's cool. They got the regulars, you know. Hey, that's not lame. Dude, plane is plane is legit. That's no joke, dude. Plane's cool. Get on that for sure. It's so <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what's up, man? Bring a knee board in the house, you know what I'm saying? Every once in a while you gotta kick it old school, you know? Uh, I, I'll throw down a little knee board every once in a while, so uh Are you gonna stand on it? No, no, you ride the knee board, bro, <laughs> oh, on your yeah. knees. That's why it's called the knee board. Stand up. But just so you guys know, the INT competitions are coming up and they have a ski and a knee board section in those INT competitions, so might gonna be, uh, you might see some awesome. You might see me, you know, bringing up my skills again. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what are you talking about, eh? I don't know. Canada, eh? We're in the States, bro. Down south from the Canada. Back in 2002, there was an Olympics. Winter Olympics? Yeah, yeah, Salt Lake City Olympics, man. That's on Earth. Yeah. We're pretty big here. What's up to Ryan Shima, you know what I'm saying? Speed skating coach out there at the Olympic Oval. Nice work, Ryan. Grab yourself a winch, man. Let's oh, go ride. The Jazz are kind of killing it this year against the Lakers. We don't, we don't want to talk about that. We don't want to Utah talk about Jazz. That, right? We don't want to talk about so, that. So, yeah, Utah is in the United States, not a province of Canada. Eh? Sorry. It's like smacking between everything, right? Midwest, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if they're trying to make fun of us or compliment us. I don't even care. They're pretty good riders from Canada. There's ridiculous <laughs> riders from Canada. Oscars there. I mean, Sharp. I'll, a lot of good bros from out there. Wes Brown, man. Nobody knows him. Yeah, Wes Brown's awesome. Chris Salteski, man. A lot of North bros. Chad Sharp, you know. A lot of good dudes from Canada. Nice. Sharpie. What's up with the Canada bros for sure? This shirt right here. 
Rain products, exclusive. Go check one out. Fourteen ninety nine. It's um. Rain products. We talk about the future of Utah scene. Since let's, we don't have any questions. Let's talk about some future. Go ahead, James, on the mic. Well, a lot. Lots going on in the Utah scene. Um, Utah could uh, hopefully cross our fingers. We have a cable park here pretty soon. So, uh, you know, check out our site. We got lots of links to the, the cable park. There's a Facebook group. Get involved in that. Um, to promote the cable park. Uh, but yeah, I think once Utah gets a cable park, it's game over. I mean, you're going to have these guys coming down out of the mountains, you know, itching to hit a rail. The snow's gone. They're going to hit the cable park. They're going to love it. And then they're going to They're going to go team up with a bunch of bros and they're going to get a boat. I mean, and with the number of lakes we got within it, Utah Cable Park going big. So this year, this year will be the first year we'll have the IMT and the IWA, which is just even, you know, it's even better. That means we're going to have to start having a, you know, high quality competition scene um, and something like that. And it's just, you know, we're starting to see a lot of people more getting involved. You know, company Wake's coming out of Utah, Wake Quality's coming out of Utah, AKA Unknown coming out of Utah. So uh, I think the scene's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's, Anyone else? It's about to be ridiculous, so stay tuned. When you guys are looking to come here, man, looking a place to stay, give us a holler for sure. Come ride with us, see what it's like. Come here, come here, go to the University of Utah, go Utes. Woo! Stay for the summer and ride all summer, hit wakeboarding during the season. You just the wakeboarding, snowboarding. This is like the, the mecca for board sports, you know. Utah, you got mountains 20 minutes away, you got lakes, five, six, seven lakes, right? Ten it's, minutes away. It straight up Maybe. says right on our license plate. It's the greatest snow on earth, right? It straight up says that. It doesn't lie. And if you look real close lie. right here, greatest melted snow on earth, straight up. Legit. So the next big contest in Utah is going to be the first INT, um, right? Yeah, INT, INT League down in St. George. May 30th and 31st, my fiance's birthday. Happy oh, birthday! Great job. Uh, but we'll be down in St. George for the first INT. We'll be taking the Super down there. Um, we got some gnarliness with Rev 3 coming up. I was going to say, should we tell them about the gnarliness? You guys don't even want to know there. what we got going with Rev 3 right now. It's about to be ridiculous. Slow down. We're going to, next time on Stoke Meter, check us out for sure. Big enough. Watch the site for the new Rev, the new Rev 3. Uh, Awesomeness. Unit, unit, unit. Is that what we're calling it? The it's going to be. It's going to be called the unit as of right now. Hard work. Those energy unit. drinks we're drinking. They're bomb. All natural. Been up for seventy-eight hours now. Seventy-eight times. <laughs> big it? rail contest coming up too. Check out a uh, Utah Outdoor Adventure Expo. Is what uh, we're doing. Uh, I think uh, that's that's first weekend in June. May fifth or June fifth. So last weekend in May, then the first weekend in June, back to back, and then. Um, we're going to stumble down to Brostock. Uh, he's he's going to stumble out. a little further. We'll, 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 we'll get there. Oh, last time this season. But that's, those are the next. we got all sorts yeah, of stuff lined up. That's the next. What boards do we ride? I ride, I'll tell you straight up. I ride, uh, what year is that? It's a 2002 Hyperlite Motive, right? Straight up, 141. Old split bindings, open toe. Nah, dude, I don't. Dude. We don't have a board, man. I mean, we, just, we just all kind of... It's a lot of different stuff right now, you know, we're trying out some new things and, you know, we've, we've tried out some Ronix, Liquid Force, Hyperlite, and we, we've been all over looking into maybe some company boards, we're looking into trying one of them Wakeology sections. We'll have that. I, I, read, I read a Skurfer classic. Straight up. Yellow. Strap, strap bindings. binding. We really know nothing about wakeboarding. <laughs> we got a plank of wood, two by, some 2 by 4s and some plywood, ski Bare bindings. Foot. Now, I, I've been riding a Ronix the past little while. I was on the Watson for a long time. I've been hitting the one a little bit lately. It's booting me. So uh, until the Wakeology boards come out, <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I got. I'm kind of a flex guy. Hydro slide knee board. <laughs> Represent. <laughs> Skirker for the little yes, they do. I got a, an old 3DS with some chain bindings. A couple years, last year's chains. Close toes the way to go if you don't know. It's true. It's yeah, true. Especially it's here where difference. you get some colder water. Unless you're in the cow. 100 degree water. You tell me. 100 degree water. There you go. These guys don't know this, but I just bought an original buyer and they found it at the thrift store. That's what I'm going to be rocking this year. Huh. With the sample bindings. Who's the best you tell me? Right. Maybe, maybe we'll throw the. Uh, mm. Maybe we'll throw the uh, shadow box on the old buyer thing with Skirper and see who goes the highest. Yeah. <laughs> who who wants to do that competition? Who wants to go the highest on the old buyer thing? Let's do it. 
Alliance Weight Magazine, man, they just did a gnarly old school contest. Check that out for sure. There's there's a lot of good Utah riders, man. I mean, I don't know that we talked about that a little earlier, but uh, I don't know that anybody. There's there's, there's just a ridiculous amount of riders out here. They're super good. I mean, we we can start dropping names like Colby Shelton and uh, the Bagley Bros and you know the old buddy of mine, Mark Glover, and I mean, there's a ridiculous amount of riders out here for sure. Ryan Webster. Ryan Webster in the house. What's up, Ryan? Ryan Webster's got another old flat. He's an awesome bro, too, so that helps. I might give my vote to Ryan Webster as well. Bagley brothers are really good. Scott Bagley, Dave Bagley, Colby Shelton's real good. Zach White. Zach, Zach White. That's definitely. I don't know if anybody's seen the Utah Boat Show poster, but my bro Zach White is on that. It's ridiculous. He's, like, famous. I think he was in Wakeboard Magazine a couple times, too. Check out Zach White and Marine Products. So, uh, the coldest water you've been in Dewey? I think you were in cold water. Uh, the last, ago. yeah, the, the first session we had this year, I mean, I don't know what the temperature oh. was. We couldn't quite get a thermometer into it because it was frozen, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, it was a good session, so, so I'd say it was under 32 for sure. But, uh, seriously, these guys drove down to the lake, sat there and, with their motorcycles. Like, they had this carved out, like, chunks of ice just out of the marina. And they were like, oh, we should ride this. Look, go we'll, we'll get the winch. We'll ride this. There's freaking chunks of ice this big in the water. And they're like, let's ride that. All, all I have to say right now is Mother Nature sponsored rip, right? Sliding on the ice. No joke, dude. Like, I didn't even have to build a rail this time. We dug out a little pool, jumped in the pool, sessioned the ice, jumped in the next pool. We had three pools, two sections of ice. Ridiculous. Check out the pictures, man. WakeUtah.com for sure. Isn't there a video up there, too? A little bit of video. Josh, Josh. down to the ride, did some video for me. Nice work, Josh. Ridiculous I mean, session. We got booted, but, you know, life of the winch master, you know what I'm saying? Coldest I've ever ridden is, is 40, 45, 47. We've been up there when it's been snowing. I remember we were up the lake and it snowed on us a little bit. So it's just cold. We've been, 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 been cold. It's, it's been straight up cold. But... Marine Products hooks up a little dry suit, no problem. That's all that matters. James only uses a dry suit. James doesn't wear suits. What's up with that? Pizza all over. Wearing so. dry suit. <laughs> <laughs> your rides. It's true. You should have seen bro last night. Straight up. It was crazy, right? Dude, if it's thought out, we're going to ride. So whatever temperature it is, we don't even care. We just jump in. It doesn't even matter. You get the rail are just nuts. I don't know. He's just nuts. <laughs> Nuts. How, how do you call, dude, we're living the life, right? We're living the life. An so important so question here, breaking check, news, ninjas look, are pirates, ninjas go, are pirates. Go look to the website and go look at the story where Dewey and them so the ice. If you don't think we're for real. Spring has sprung, riding has begun. That's a time. It's one of the featured stories. Click on a picture of me sessioning awesome. Ninjas are pirates. You know I what? I said Jedi's. I've straight up been a ninja. Chase your ninjas up a tree. I'll cut your pirate's leg off. What are you... <laughs> Jedi's rule. Uh, that's not part of the question, bro. They're always part of the question. Are they They're always part of the equation. Boy ninjas or boy pirates? Or that's a good or... question too. You see, what kind of pirate's a chick? I've never known a chick pirate. <laughs> Dude, you guys should see me session. John wants to know if we know how to swim. Do I know how to swim? Oh, uh, well, Chuck Norris. Coast Guard approved that's why life I always wear vest. Coast Guard approved vest. Coast Guard approved life vest at all times. No need to swim. You know what I'm saying? Helmet on the rails for sure. The wake behind the 22 SSV is pretty much almost as good as the wake behind Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> close, it's a close call. So it's just, it's <laughs> like just <laughs> neck and neck. Because how's the wake behind the 22? <laughs> Chuck Norris were to tell you, it'd be like that. Well, so, well, I mean, the wake behind the 22 and the 24, obviously, um, <laughs> every Utah event chooses to use the Supra for their. Their events, so the IWA, the INT, will both be all be pulled by Supras uh, provided by Marine Products. So, obviously, the wakes are solid. Um, big meaty wake uh, with the wake plate. You can dial it every you know however you want. You know the Supras even got a feature to where you can you can set a setting completely to you. So I can say you know I want to ride at this speed and I want my wake plate here. So big meaty steep wakes. Um, it's all automatic. Mash throttle it does it for you. I, I mean I think we were we were cruising on the Supra. With no ballast last night, and I was blown away. It, in 10 feet of water. If, 8 feet of water. If you live no anywhere ballast. near Utah, come ride with us. Check it out for yourself. Definitely. 
Now, are these girl manatees and girl Jedi's? Because <laughs> that makes a difference. Dude, manatees are straight up mellow, right? I'm pretty mellow. You're real pleasure. That's all it is, too, man. I dig the mellow scene. I'm kind of a manatee fan, you know what I'm saying? You gotta watch out for those bros, though, because they'll jump up and eat your prop like it's nobody's business. Yeah, and then you'll go to jail. Straight up. They're endangered. Watch out for them, man. Watch out for those They're above the law. The manatees are above the law. They're pretty careful. It's like the Jedi, so... I remember riding in the Atlantic when I grew up in Florida. Manatees, they come to your boat. If you don't shut off, you're going to jail. I think you're we should. Right. I think we should talk a little bit about the wake behind Chuck Norris. Oh man, because, you don't even uh, want to go there, man. <laughs> that was that was an insane session that, that nobody would even believe. You see what I'm saying? Dude is so crazy. He can straight run on water at 24 miles an hour. He <laughs> creates the wake by sticking one hand down in the water. That's it. And it's ridiculous. While, he, while he's running. While he's running, it's straight ridiculous. You got to see this cat. It's crazy. Has anyone spent time in jail? I once visited a prison. <laughs> gotta, Does that count? You gotta get Wait, out on a free jail a, card. Is this a women prison or a men's prison? <laughs> we gotta hang out with this John, bro. John, whoever you are, get up here, man. We gotta hang out with you for sure, man. Come ride with us, man. Definitely. Chuck Norris can swim on land. Yeah, Chuck Norris <laughs> can swim on land. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck Norris. Jo Norris jumps in the pool. He doesn't get wet. The pool gets Chuck Norris. <laughs> Chuck Norris doesn't swim on land. <laughs> We don't, we don't like to talk about our jail sentences too much, you know, because there's a lot of, I don't know if any of you guys have been winching yet, but uh, go get yourself a bulldozer winch, start, start, you know, poaching some sessions and, and you'll find yourself in some precarious situations. Again, check out that story of uh, hitting the ice, you know what we mean. Yeah, uh, you saw the cops there. Uh, we're just gonna, like we said at the beginning, we're gonna try to get as many people involved with wakeboarding as possible. We're hitting up the colleges, the schools, the skate parks, wherever we can to introduce more we people. Trying to hit up the snowboarders, or we got booted. We we <laughs> want to we want to get as many people as we can involved in the sport. Uh, bring as many pro riders as we can out of Utah. Uh, you see, Canada's got a bunch. We just named off a bunch. We want to be able to do the same same for here in Utah. So. Basically, our goal and our plan for the future is, like he said, get people to ride, get Utah on the map, you know, I and mean, get people to realize what they're missing out here. Big red three. Utah is like, I mean, life elevated, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's nothing you can't do out here in Utah, so uh, that's basically our future is getting more events, getting more well-known, getting more rail jams, maybe getting a cable park up here. You'd be surprised at the World of Warcraft community in Utah. You do that in Utah all day long. So that's the main goal, you know, is, is get more people riding, get more people riding together, get more of the uh, local shops involved with the wakeboarding scene. Marine Products has been out here forever. They've been in it. We're trying to hook up to everybody else. So if you know any of those bros, have them call us up, man. It's all about, it's all about the wake. We're just going to do whatever we can to make wakeboarding accessible in Utah. Do you guys think the dude with the crack shirt's normal? Again, that's Zoe's sunflower seeds. Crack That's because he's high. You should see him when he's regular. High on seeds and Rev 3. <laughs> Screenshot. That's normal. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how he rolls, man. Nope, nope, it's alright. It's all good. It's all good. What else we got? Done the side. So basically, uh, head to, you know, go to Zotes. Use the, uh, uh, if you go to Zotes, you want to buy some seeds from Zotes, use Wake Zotes as a coupon, get 20% off. 20%? Wake Zotes. Um, we got, we're kind of, we're kind of winding down, so... Shout out to the sponsors real quick. We got Zotes. James talked about that. Zotes.com. Marine Products. Marine-Products.com. Um, Supra Boats. You got to check out the Supras. We got Rockwell. Bling. Bling. Rockwelltime.com. Uh, Wakeology. Talk a little bit about the Wakeology. We have three. Deal of the Wake. And then every, everyone's excited to play with Shadowbox, so... Shadowboxlive.com, check it out. We'll be sporting that all year. We're gonna have the shadow box on our boat and this little laptop here. So as soon as you get in, we'll connect the shadow box up here. You can see a 3D rendition of, of your ride from what I understand. Don't quote me on that, but uh, taking wakeboarding to a whole new level. It's gonna be awesome. Any sponsors you miss? Dikeguy.com, don't forget about that. Fire up the scoop. Supra, these Supra boats. Come ride our Supra. It's absolutely ridiculous. 
straight and ridiculous. Green products, again, don't forget. Zotes. Questions? Crack. Crack it up. So anyway, any final other questions? Final, final questions? Waiting for some final questions, and we'll just kind of go through what we are again one more time. But uh, we're Wake Utah. We're the owners. We're, uh, we're the guys creating the awesome, attempting to create the awesome. I'm Dewey. Hit me up at Dewey at WakeUtah.com. I'm kind of the rail guy. I build the rails. I uh, session the rails. I put on awesome rail events, rail jams. You want, anybody wants to come ride, hit me up at Dewey at WakeUtah.com. Check out the events calendar. We've got a lot of good, a lot of good events coming up. A lot of good, uh, a lot of good rail jams coming up. Anyway, hit me up. We'll go session. Thanks, Stoke Meter. This is sick. Yeah, this is a good time. It's definitely cool. I'll check you guys Thanks, out more beyond this. Hey, yeah, come back. Watch the videos for sure. So I guess to, I guess to finish it out, you know, check out wakeutah.com. Join the forums at my.wakeutah.com. And uh, check out all the awesomeness we have going down. If anybody's local, if anybody wants to come out here, if anybody's thinking about coming out here, yeah, come, out come out here and ride with us, man. Come out and visit. Give us a holler. Go to Wake Utah. You can find our contact information there. Send us. If you're going to be here, come out and ride. Right on. Thanks, Stoke Meter. Hi, Nikki. You gotta say it. Hi, Bruce. Uh, yeah.